Hey, Jono here. Thank you for joining me for Clock Tower. Um, between episodes, I... Basically, I cheated. I was like, oh, I'm, I'm not in the mood to, um, go combing through, like, this fucking library looking for a goddamn key. And I was like, okay, just I, I just want to know where the key is. Um... And then it turns out, no, we don't need a key. I'm meant to click on that vent that I'd mentioned at the end of the last episode. And I guess that makes an item appear. It is interesting that I've said before in survival horror games how it's funny that there's um, a lot of times uh, you can pick up a seemingly useless item that you'll happen to need later on. Where... In the reality of the situation, you you wouldn't think to pick that up because yeah, now I can look at it. Before it was super dark in here, it didn't give me the option, which is annoying. A vent. It is covered with a wire screen fastened with screws. That's it. Edward could fit through. He's small and weak. If I could just get the screen off. Please don't say it all again. Damn it, he taught me. Uh, yeah, and, and it's almost like this game not fixes it or addresses it in any way, but actually does that. Like, until seeing the vent, there'd be no reason to pick up this item. It might be the same with um, the pliers for Helen in the, in the uni, because realistically... If you're walking around a burn trying to escape from someone and you just see a pair of pliers, why the fuck would you be like, oh, I better take that? You know, a prime example to me is the can opener in Silent Hill 2. Now, all the shit that you come across, you pick up a, a can opener, you're like, oh, this will be of value to me, it's a can opener. But then, of course, you need to open a can to get a light bulb. So it's a good thing you happen to pick it up, but realistically, it's the most fucking bizarre thing to do. I mean, even for that case, it's like, why the fuck would you worry about opening a can? Sorry, I think it's in one of these desks. Nothing that seems useful. Okay, try you. Might be Edward's desk, actually. I wonder if there's something useful here. A screwdriver is one of the drawers. You now have the screwdriver. Yeah, see? If she'd just decided to pick that up, I guess they could have played it as a like... I could stab Scissorman with it. In that case, sure. But... Otherwise, it, it really would be something where you're like, why, why would you take interest in this? Yeah, the Silent Hill 2 example is the best example, because not only is it a seemingly pointless item to pick up, but it's also used to open a seemingly pointless item. Like, I don't know in a situation where all of that is happening, you would decide to stop and open an unlabeled can to see what's in it. Like, who gives a fuck? Like, you're trying to escape the Nightmare of Silent Hill. I mean, it would be nice if she was like, you know, What's this? A screwdriver? Eh. And he's like, Ah, oh, well, now I know there's a screwdriver. Uh, yes, of course. Yes, I know. <sighs> go, go! If I could just get the screen off, okay, fine, fuck my mistake. Sometimes you use the shit automatically, Helen. Yeah, screw your ass. Edward, come out from there and come over here. Edward, you can probably squeeze through here to the outside. Hurry, run away from here. <laughs> like a dog. Okay, Go. Know. How does she even know that it works? Like, the vent just suddenly takes a, like, huge drop. He would just slide and 
breaks his neck. Okay, so we can't look at the vent now. Cool, so the whole, the whole important thing is that fucking Edward survives. Stupid Edward. Oh, okay, you're moving automatically. Hey, Teach, what's going on? Teach, hang in there. Hang in there. Alright, cool. Would have been nice to have finished the episode last time on that note, but yeah, my, my bet was, you know, Mr. Sullivan's office, and then I would have, I would have spent fucking forever looking for the goddamn key not thinking too much about the vent especially because when i put edward in that room it's fucking pitch black and it doesn't even let you look at the vent but anyway we'll move on helen i wonder if she found the statue all right okay so rick's house is now here Rick's house. Oh, you're not gonna go? I must go see Helen quickly. Okay, you mean she's not at the police station, is that what you're saying? Where is she then? At the research building? Jennifer, Scissor Man was in the library. Huh? Guts was just questioning me. You aren't hurt, are you? No, I'm alright. I was also able to get the statue, which I think I just passed to you, despite it being much bigger than that. But more importantly, Jennifer, I found the clue to Scissor Man. What is it? I found out where the Barrows used to live before they immigrated here. They used to live in the Barrows Castle in England. The Barrows Castle. According to historical accounts of the castle, there was some kind of monster born there. Hmm. They must have found some way to destroy the monster back then so if we go to the barrow's castle we might learn how they did it right i can't say we will for sure but i want to believe we will if we try okay i'll tell the others good be sure to tell gots he'll bug us later if we don't we should also tell Professor Barton. Okay, I'll go now then. Yep, no time to go home, okay. She just said there's no time to go home, and then she came home anyway. No one is here. Thank you for that, game. Thank you. It says I can't go in. Well, that makes sense. I should tell Edward and Kay. Oh, Jennifer. Well, hello, Jennifer. I think we are getting close to discovering the secret to Scissor Man. The secret to Scissor Man? Yes, there is a castle in England called the Barrows Castle. The Barrows family used to live there. I see. Is that where Scissor Man is from? So, Helen and I are going to England to investigate the castle. You are? Is that a good idea? No. Well, it may be dangerous, but... I'll go with you, Jennifer. What? Edward, don't be ridiculous. 
but if we don't do something, he'll probably kill us too. Because you're such a fucking help in the library, weren't you? May I go with you, Jennifer? Okay, I'll tell Helen. Oh dear. Apparently, despite being your guardian, I have no say in the fucking matter. Sure, go to England without me and look for a dangerous killer. That sounds like a good idea. Jennifer. It seems Mr. Sullivan was killed by Scissor Man in the library. I know. Helen was there too. Is that right? The police didn't tell us that much. And no mention of the clerk working there either. She doesn't count. Nolan, we found a clue. Really? Yes, there is a castle in England called the Barrow's Castle, and we now know where it is. The Barrow's Castle? That must be... That must be where Scissorman is from. Oh, cute. They finished each other's sentences. Yes, that's right. Okay, we'll go too. Right, Tim? Yeah, I got the wrong voice. Yeah, this will make one interesting report. You don't mind, do you, Jennifer? Of course not. I'd feel safer if you did come along. Alright then. We'll go and ask our boss. Alright. For some reason it's automatically gone to the police station. I wonder if the inspector is in. Hi, Jennifer. I heard Scissorman's back. The media's going to jump all over it again. This indeed is an interesting case. I would love to see the scissor man. Hmm. Can I speak to him? No, just him. Inspector Gotts, I am going to England. It's Assistant Inspector. Are you going there to study? No, not really. There is a castle called the Barrow's Castle in England. If I go there, maybe I'll be able to learn something about Scissor Man. Like why they call him Scissor Man. The Barrow's Castle. So that is where the Barrows used to live before they immigrated to Norway. I think so. Now I talk to you. That sounds rather interesting. I will accompany you as well. Hold on a sec, Prof. What about the case? You too, Jennifer. You're an important witness to the, in the case. You can't just trapeze off like that. Then come with us. Huh? There must be some reason as to why the murderer... Murders disguises himself as Scissor Man. We might learn why by investigating the Barrows' history. Hmm. Hmm. All right, Prof. I'll go. <laughs> okay. And I'll head but my way there. But what am I gonna say to my boss? No need to worry. You'll be a hero if the case is solved. As long as I ain't made a goat. Well, I like in this one how they kind of, you know, actually are like, I better talk to my boss. And Helen's like, one, they just seem to be like, fuck it, we're coming too. Um, well, I don't know why, unless I can go to Rick's house now. No. So we went just there. We've been near there. We're not allowed to go to the library. Back to the building, I guess. Hi, Jennifer. I was just checking the number of people going to the Barrow's Castle. 
There are now a total of ten people. I'm a bit concerned that some of them think this is going to be a picnic. Oh, well, we'll leave on the first flight in the morning. I've already arranged for a rental car. I hope we can find a way to destroy him, Jennifer. Then I'm going to destroy your ass. I'm pretty sure the gods would kind of be like, no, 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 this is a police investigation thing, like, the vast majority of you aren't fucking coming. Like, yeah. More than half of you aren't fucking coming. Certainly not Edward. It would be dangerous to move about in the dark. Let's camp here. Strange, where is Jennifer? Teach, have you seen Harris and Edward? Kay is looking all over for them, but she can't find them anywhere. Oh no! Jennifer is missing too. They can't be missing. Well, they can be. The castle, hurry! Last scenario, Scissorman. <laughs> ah. Huh? I was going to say. Be afraid, Jennifer. It's me, Harris. Oh, spoilers. Harris? Poor girl. Don't worry. I'll help you now. What? Where are we? Where is everyone? What's that costume? How did you shrink? He told me. He told me that if I kidnap you, he will give you to me. Okay. He told me to dress up like Scissor Man and kill people. Okay. Jennifer. No, no, don't come any closer. <gasps> <laughs> oh, holy shit. I was gonna say, like, for a moment I was like, are we playing as Helen? What the hell? Why? I thought we'd be playing as Jennifer. Okay, fuck. I didn't expect to, like, you know, be fucking right off the bat dealing with this. Uh, oh, I can interact with that. Is the doorway now here? Oh, I got my oil can back. <laughs> Nothing heavier than clothing. Alright, he's gone. Let's see what's in here now. Uh. It looks like the Virgin Mary, and something is very wrong. How spooky. Yeah, okay, that was a weird twist. That was Harris? Who told you? Oh, oh god. Oh. I wanted to look at the An old tattered Bible. Is there no cosmetics box in in here? Several strangely shaped instruments. I wonder what they are used for. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't pop out. Priest robes, the colour is completely faded. Ugh. There is something in the pocket. You now have the stair key. Ah, oh, cool. Alright. Does it show up as a key? Yes. And this was the room where Harris was. 
So Harris was in Norway murdering people. And then they came here and found the real Scissor Man. It makes a bit more sense than Helen's scenario. I don't like to read. <laughs> Religious books from many different countries. Many books are stacked up. Large, thick books. Just looking at these gives me a headache. Alright, fine. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Is this. Only foreign books up here. Helen would love these books. And at least Jennifer disappearing as well. Kind of fits being actually abducted. And the other scenario is like everyone just came to the castle. Despite them parking up for the night. They they parked up for the night at the castle? A chapel? It looks different from the ones I know. Alright, you fixate on these pews. Wooden pews. Ooh. That fresco doesn't look right. Just let me, just let me. I didn't see this last time. There is a copper plate on the wall. There are stars drawn on the thing. You now have star plate. Huh. This is that horrible thing of like, I just want to explore and then it's like, well, are you going to accidentally awaken the scissor man? Oh. Ugh, that stench. And he's drunk. Instruments of torture, the black stains must be blood. Walk over the corpse, be like, what's this? Oh. A large candle is on the floor. You now have the candle. Sometimes I don't know if it's her speaking or like just the narrator. I thought it was the tape thing. So is this Gots? Jennifer. You're still alive. Inspector Gotts! Thank heaven, you're all right. That's assistant. It's inspector. assistant, <laughs> Inspector. What does that even mean? Inspector Gotts. I'll go and look for the others. Eventually. It's assistant, Inspector. Oh my god. Inspector. Anyway, be careful. Ow, my head. I guess I don't need to worry about Scissor Man popping out here. Instruments of torture. They look painful. <laughs> yeah, funny that. Who would have thought? Chains are hanging from the wall. Many people must have been hun in them. Hun in them? Oh. A keyhole. Ah. Interesting. That wasn't really a thing last time. Does it work? <laughs> Holy shit, it did actually work. That's surprising. A staircase, I wonder where it leads. I thought it would be that gate that, uh, and iron bars by the stairs. Yeah, wow, that was, um, really fortunate. It's just things like that that make you think just always give things a try, and even though I could have gone stuck. Okay, 
This room isn't like any of the others. Ah, let's look at things that Scissorman can't pop out of first. The colour is completely faded. Then again, he popped out of a fucking painting. There is something written. Hint number nine. The colour is completely faded. An antique sideboard. Alright, let's try the cupboard. The front is all scratched up. Should I be doing this? I knew I shouldn't have been doing it! Damn it. Ah, okay. Can you go through the door, please? Damn it, Jono, why did I fucking do that? Uh, can I see fucking... yeah. Hop, hop, hippity hop, hippity hop. I liked how Harris did the, um, the little hop thing too. He really gone to character. This must be the master bedroom. The beds look luxurious. The mattresses look super thin. Okay. Yep. They do. Very lux. Very lux. My hair is a mess! Oh my god. Will this horror ever end? Okay, so that does happen again. Cool. And... No comment on the phone or anything. I think that mouse ran in here. I must catch it. Ah! There's a small hole in the wall behind the table. A key! Now I have the library key. Okay. Um. Well, that's it for this episode. In the next one, we'll continue exploring this mansion. Or the castle, sorry. And, um, yeah. We've got some new items, so it's quite a different scenario. I do like that. Hopefully I'll get a good ending. We'll just see. So uh, until next time, thank you very much for watching, and take it easy.